WWE's systematic plundering of the best independent wrestlers in the world hasn't just padded out the NXT roster or paid dividends on the main roster over the years, it has also created the very real chance that stagnant names on both Raw and SmackDown will be replaced soon. Some are struggling to get any television time, some have come to the end of story arcs, and some are aching to do something different in the company altogether. Then, there are those winding down lengthy careers and those just sick from poor treatment. Let's look at some! I'm Ben from What Culture, and here are 10 WWE superstars who will leave in 2018. Number 10, The Ascension. I loved The Ascension in NXT, which coincidentally was the last time they were taken seriously. That was 2014 though, and time has to be running out for the surf dudes with attitudes. The Ascension on Raw and SmackDown has been a disaster, as if JBL calling them a poor man's road warriors or a crappy alignment with Stardust wasn't bad enough, the team have been reduced to comedic foil for Breezango in recent times. This team is going nowhere, and probably never will in WWE. Both members should rightly be sick of doing nothing of note, and nobody could blame them for asking to seek fresh challenges outside the company. Number 9. The Colognes How these guys are still clinging on is a mystery. Could it be something to do with a famous family member donating some footage to the WWE Network or something? I don't know. Shut up. They're not bad, though. They've just been given appalling gimmicks like rogue holiday salesmen or Spanish bullfighters who befriended a mini version of their worst enemy. Primo and Epico haven't been seen on TV since late spring. Part of this is due to Primo's knee injury, but Creative were doing nothing with them anyway. If WWE don't stick both on NXT and give them a fresh injection of life soon, they must be considered prime candidates to be released. Number 8. Kurt Hawkins Unlike the Colognes, Kurt Hawkins was getting some heat from his fans for elaborate entrances and over-the-top promo style before WWE lost interest. It was never going to take him above the mid-card, but then he was only rehired in time for the brand split last year to pad out the roster. His positioning doesn't give SmackDown's creative team an excuse for how he's been treated, though. During a rare pay-per-view appearance at Great Balls of Fire, Hawkins was disrespectfully overlooked in favour of furthering the Braun Strowman Roman Reigns ambulance angle. His match was barely even shown on screen. It must be disheartening to be doing even less than the last time he was in WWE. Number 7. Our truth At 45 years old and having been around the horn countless times as both babyface and heel, there's little left for our truth to do in WWE. His latest angle, one centered around pushing the reset button on Goldust, ran its course quickly, and since then, Truth has been on the shelf, and it doesn't seem like there's a great spot for him when he returns. He could return to Raw or SmackDown and be a bit part player, or he could form yet another tag team with someone else creative has nothing in mind for. Both scenarios are dreadfully boring, so it may be time for the veteran to think about his life outside WWE's cozy bubble. Number 6. Rhino Rhino's SmackDown tag team title run alongside Heath Slater in 2016 felt like it happened a lifetime ago. Somehow in the midst of that run, the former ECW stalwart was able to get cheese and crackers over as a gimmick in WWE, and his chemistry with Slater during promos did lead to some laughs. The gag is over, however, as proven by his recent trick or street fight match on Raw. Slater still has a future in WWE due to his utility man status, but Rhino's worth has faded over the past few months. On NXT, he was a great veteran to have around the place. That role suited him, so much so it made management sure he was deserving of a main roster push. He was, but he's exhausted all possibilities. Number 5. Mark Henry Poor Mark Henry could have appeared on a similar list for the past few years now, and at 46, the Olympian and world's strongest man only makes intermittent TV appearances. Never getting involved in storylines, Henry is usually wheeled out in front of a Texan home crowd to do the little bull sign thing with his hand, and maybe a world's strongest slam maybe to Kurt Hawkins or someone of his ilk. Surely it's high time for him to hang up the boots, but you can't help but feel his legitimate in-ring retirement will be undermined by just how good his fake retirement was in 2013 when he wore that lovely pink jacket and then really hurt John Cena. Still though, it's time. Number 4. Dolph Ziggler One of WWE's longest-suffering stars, and oh boy doesn't he just let us know about it at all possible times, Ziggler's current character copying gimmick hints that even WWE know that there's nothing left for him to achieve. Dolph leaving the company has been on the cards for years now. There was a brief glimmer of hope when he beat The Miz to become Intercontinental Champion at No Mercy 2016, but Creative ruined that feel-good high by turning him heel. It's obvious when watching him on SmackDown that Dolph is tired of playing second string and star maker in WWE, and he probably wants out. Number 3. 
Big Show. Credit to Big Show for taking that cage-breaking bump on the 4th of September Raw for Braun Strowman. One giant helped make another look like a star and that show's best role these days, but at 45, his best days are behind him despite being in impressive physical shape. So let the Big Show retirement tour commence. In fairness, Show has more than earned the right to dictate when he leaves, but WWE should be eager to induct him into the Hall of Fame. The big man is unique in the respect that he probably won't cut ties with the promotion completely when he stops wrestling, and as a well-spoken, charming man, Big Show would be ideal as a company ambassador. Number 2. Kane WWE can book him as a monster all they want in 2017, but Kane is in the same boat as Big Show. The next time he disappears from TV, it could be for good. Outside of wrestling, Glenn Jacobs is campaigning to become mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. If successful, the time he could spend playing wrestler would be reduced greatly. It'd be impossible for Jacobs to govern Knoxville and pull on the mask to tour the world with WWE. Even if his campaign is unsuccessful, WWE should think about letting Kane step away. Nobody wants to see him go on a losing run to everybody and anybody before hanging up the tights anyway, so it'd be for the best. Number 1. Daniel Bryan if WWE don't let him wrestle soon, there's every chance Daniel Bryan will throw his toys out of the pram and leave the organization. Bryan has been more vocal than ever before this year about working in ring again, and that's something WWE are uncomfortable with while he's under their banner. That means it'd have to happen somewhere else. Daniel's desire to wrestle is serious. Both he and his wife Brie have spoken about bouts of depression brought on by the realization that he may never work inside a WWE ring again. Bryan loves pro wrestling so much and is becoming so frustrated by his neutered role as SmackDown GM that he's itching to explore other options. Serious injuries or not, it wouldn't be surprising to hear that Brian has agreed mutual termination of his WWE deal so he could wrestle elsewhere. Hello there, you've made it all the way to the end of the video and as part of my designated 18 hours of community service I'm here to tell you that we have a number of other channels available for you to subscribe to as well as other slightly possibly not related videos for you to watch so please do one of the things to my left or right otherwise I have to pick up leaves on the roadside.